Now, Wee Odena will be the largest urban Indigenous economic zone in Canadian history. It's being called a historic step forward in reconciliation. The land behind me, formerly known as the Cap Young Barracks military site, is now one step closer to being transformed into the largest urban reserve in the country. An agreement signed between the seven Treaty 1 First Nations and the City of Winnipeg will see the city provide municipal services for the site. The agreement also provides the framework for future collaborations between all nations. This is how it looks when you work together. Chief Gordon Blue Sky, Treaty One Nation chairperson, says the signing of the agreement is monumental. He says the development of these lands will create jobs and income for First Nations citizens and be an economic boost to the city of Winnipeg. Chief Blue Sky hopes other levels of government in Canada will recognize the strong example being put forward in Winnipeg of how relationships can be mended and strengthened. For our federal and provincial governments, this is how it looks. This is how we should be sitting down. The agreement was approved unanimously by the Treaty 1 Governing Council and unanimously by the City of Winnipeg. The Way Odana, once developed, will be one of the most complete communities in Winnipeg and will serve as a model to shape future urban reserve development partnerships across Canada. As part of the official public signing at the Forks on Wednesday, Mayor Bowman presented seven keys to the city to seven First Nations chiefs, representatives of the signatories to the treaties originally signed in 1871. You know, this is a significant step forward as far as reconciliation. Pegwa's First Nation chief, Glenn Hudson, says Nawi Odena is a symbol for a bright future ahead and shows clearly the collaboration between governments and Indigenous leaders can be easy. SCO Grand Chief Jerry Daniels says the progress on projects like the former Cap Young Barracks needs to accelerate and progressive minds need to transcend divisions and ignorance of racism. It's in all areas of institutions of our society that needs to change. It's a cultural renaissance that needs to happen that is marked by reconciliation and marked by a genuine love for all humanity. Once construction begins, the Nui Odena development is estimated to take around 10 to 15 years to complete. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.